Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at point slope form. We're going to answer the question, what is point slope form of a linear equation and how do I write equations in point slope form? So point slope form of is a form of a linear equation where the equation is written with the slope and a point. So you're going to see m and x1, y1 for the slope and the point in the formula. So this is point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is the slope just like it was in slope intercept form. And then x1 and y1 are a point from the line. Any point from the line will work in this formula. You need to notice that there are subtraction signs in our formula. So the sign that we see in the formula is opposite of what the point actually is. So if it says minus one right here, then that x coordinate is actually positive one since the formula has a negative. So let's look at that a little bit further. Here is point slope form. The slope is the number in front of the parentheses. So the slope is three. And then the point is what is being subtracted or added and we just have to change the sign. So it says minus five, but that really means it's a positive five. And then it says minus 10, which is really a positive 10. All right, next one, the slope. It just has a negative sign in front of the parentheses. So that slope is really a negative one. And then the point, the x value would be negative five since it says plus five and negative two since it says plus two. So the slope is, or the point is negative five and negative two. All right, in the next one, my slope is the number in front of the parentheses. So it is negative one third. The point, I can see what the x value is going to be. It says minus 18, so it's going to be a positive 18. And then there is no number added or subtracted from the y. There's nothing, and the number for nothing is 0. So the point represented here is 18, 0. All right, number 4, it says write an equation in point slope form of a line that goes through three, five, and has a slope of six. So first thing I'm gonna do is write down point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then I'm gonna label the information that they gave me. Six is m, the slope, and then three and five are the point x1 and y1. So my equation would be y minus five for y minus y1 equals the slope m was six times x minus three since the x value was three. And there's the equation in point slope form. Okay, next one wants us to write another equation in point slope form. This time the point is negative nine, negative three and the slope is negative one half. So I'm gonna label this with my points, x1 and y1, and then the slope is m. So y minus y1 would be y minus negative three, and then the slope is negative one half times x minus, and the x value is negative nine. So you can leave it like this, it's a little bit more proper to change any minus negatives to pluses though. So I'm gonna write y plus three equals negative one half times x plus nine for my final answer. Okay, number six, one more equation to write. Write the equation in point slope form of a line that goes through six, negative seven. So there's my x one and y one and has a slope of one. So all we have to do is plug into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So it'll be y plus seven, since I changed the sign, it would be like minus a negative seven, which is really plus seven, equals the slope is one times 
x minus 6. So you can leave it like this, but if I distribute a 1, it's not going to change anything, so it's not really most proper to leave the 1 in there. So the most simplified way to write this in point slope form would just be y plus 6 equals x minus 6. And since we're not distributing anything, that shows that the slope is 1. Okay, so, so far when we've been writing the equations, they give us the point and they've been giving us the slope. But what happens if they give us two points instead? Well, if they give you two points, you have one of the two things needed to write the equation of point slope form. You definitely have a point. The other thing you need is the slope. And they don't give you the slope, but we can find the slope with two points by using the slope formula. So if we're given two points and we need to write the equation in point slope form, we are going to have to find the slope with the two points. So let's do that on number seven. It says write an equation in point slope form of a line that goes through two, four, and three, six. So I need slope to write it in point slope form. So first thing I'm gonna do is find the slope between these two points. So I'm gonna label them x1, y1, and x2, and y2. And then to find the slope, we'll do y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 4, all over x2 minus x1, so 3 minus 2. And 6 minus 4 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, so the slope is 2. So now I have the slope, and then I have two options for points. You can use whatever point you want. I'm just going to use the first point to write my equation in point slope form. So it'll be y minus 4, because the y value of the first point was 4, equals I found the slope it was 2, times x minus 2. And there's the equation in point slope form. Okay, number eight, we need to write the equation in point slope form and they gave us two points. So first thing I have to do is find the slope. So I'm gonna label these x1, y1, x2, and y2. So it'll be y2 minus y1 or negative 11 minus negative 10 all over x2 minus x1, so negative 4 minus negative 8. So negative 11 minus 10 is the same thing, minus negative 10 is the same thing as negative 11 plus 10, or negative 1, and then negative 4 minus negative 8, or negative 4 plus 8 is 4. So the slope is negative 1 4. And you can use any point to write it in point slope form, this time I'm going to use the second one. Does not matter which one you use. So we will write it in y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 form. So it'll be y plus 11, since the y value is negative 11, equals negative 1 fourth times x plus Four, since the x-coordinate was negative 4. And there's our equation in point-slope form. All right, now we need to write an equation in point-slope form to represent the table. So it is the same as what we just did. They just gave us more options for points, but you can choose any two points from the table. I'm going to use the first point and the last point, since those are all integers or whole numbers, then I just don't have to worry about doing calculations with the decimals. So I'm going to find the slope between these two points, so then I can write the equation in point slope form. So there's x1 and y1, and x2 and y2. And to find the slope, we do y2 minus y1, so negative 3 minus negative 5 all over x2 minus x1, so 2 minus 1. So negative 3 minus negative 5, or negative 3 plus 5 is 2, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. So the slope is 2. So I have a slope, and then I have a table full of points, so now I just need to choose a point to use to write the equation in point-slope form, and I'm just going to use the first point. 
So now I will just write it in y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 form. So the y value is negative 5, so it'll be y plus 5 equals m is 2. And then the x value is 1, so it'll be x minus 1. Okay, number 10 wants us to write an equation in point-slope form from the graphed line. So as you can see, the y-intercept is not a whole number, which is why we have other forms besides y equals mx plus b to write equations of lines. So that's why this is a good one to write point-slope form in, because I do have other points. So I know I'm going to need a point, which I can see three of, and then I also am going to need a slope to write it in point-slope form. So let's find the slope. I'm going to draw my slope triangle here. The rise is 1 and the run is 1, 2, 3. So my slope is 1 third. And then I also need a point. And we can choose any point on the line. I'm going to use this one, 1, negative 1. And now I have m the slope and my point x1 and y1, so I can write it in point slope form. So it'll be y plus 1, since the y value is negative 1, equals 1 third times x minus 1, since the x value is positive 1. 